Hey guys, today's challenge is to climb Bluff No, the highest peak in Australia's southwest region, and to arrive at the summit for sunrise. So this marks halfway. At this point, I don't think we'll be able to get to the top for sunrise. We still have one and a half kilometers to go in 40 minutes. We got this. Uh, are we done with the steps? <laughs> it looks like it. Was today worth it? Not yet. We don't know. Tomorrow morning, we're waking up at 2.30 a.m. because we want to go to the top of Bluff Knoll and watch the sunrise. The trek is about a six kilometer return trip where Vink, it's going to take us about an hour and a half to get to the top. Plus, we've got a 20 minute drive from where we're camping at. The sunrise here in WA during summer is at around 4.45. We still have a 20 minute drive from the car park of where we're staying at. So fingers crossed, we can make it to the top before the sunrise hits. <laughs> We're just getting our bags ready for tomorrow morning and what are we taking? Plenty of water, snacks, head torches and a torch because we'll be pitch black tomorrow morning when we start. All of our photo equipment and heavy jackets because it can get pretty windy and cold at the top. to the Bluff Knob car park, but I don't know if we can make it. I don't know. that The radar said that the winds were only like 15 k's with about 25 k gusts, but like it it's looks like it's looking. 40 outside, 50 k's outside, so I don't know. I don't know what to do. Meow. It's is very it early in the morning. I think it is. We did see there's some lights. It was way too windy this morning. We almost pulled the pin. We have started our hike to the top of Bluff Knoll, but I'm glad we started it. There's a few other people doing it as well. So fingers crossed we get something good at the top. Are you excited? How are you feeling? I'm scared of the wind. Yeah? I want to see something when we get to the top and with these clouds and this wind, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just completed our first kilometer. There's two more to go and we have a little bit less than an hour to get to the top before sunrise. So let's go. So this marks halfway. At this point, I don't think we'll be able to get to the top before sunrise. We're both struggling and we still have one and a half kilometers to go in 40 minutes. We got this. Yeah. Four thirty seven. Four hundred meters to go. Are we done with the steps? It looks like it. Was today worth it? Not yet. We don't know. But you never know, the weather dictates so much, you just... It was worth for the challenge. Yeah. Like we realized we're very unfit and we need to do something about our health. Yep. But as for the views, I don't know about that yet. Look, give it some time, maybe the clouds will kind of disappear. <laughs> this wind needs to die off for sure. But, Hi. see what happens. getting colder yeah. I can't feel my hands so we've been huddled up underneath this little block of rocks here to get out of the wind there was another group over here they were with us for a bit they kind of gave up there were some guys in shorts I'm in three layers and freezing we're gonna have some breakfast now and we're gonna feel better yeah I'm so glad we brought the coffee lifesaver best idea ever yeah. to bring hot coffee with us 
I didn't think it was going to be this cold up here, to be honest. It's like the middle of December. Yeah. Oh no. Coffee is over. Oh no. <laughs> It's like slop. <laughs> so we were right. The skies have opened up. It's amazing like how the clouds roll over the mountains and <sighs> And I'm so glad the clouds are kind of gone because yeah. the view from up here it's incredible. Yeah, this was amazing. We stuck out the cold and it was worth it. Okay, we're well, enough with the cold. We're gonna make our way back down. You ready to get out of here? I'm ready. I'm yeah. freezing, I can't feel my fingers. Yeah, I'm done. We're up here for two hours? No, an hour maybe? Up here? Yeah. Really? What's the time? Six o'clock. Yeah, we arrived at 10 to 5. Shit, yeah. So we're up here for an hour. There you go. This wasn't really planned, but we're gonna go try and tackle Granite Skywalk. It is a 4.2 kilometer return, so just in and out. But it's a steep. It's another steep one, but not as steep as Bluff Knoll. Yeah, this one is just a moderate walk. The yeah. other one was what? Challenging. More challenging. So, well, why not? We're up early anyway, right? Let's see. So after our nap, we started hike number two for the day to Granite Skywalk. And it's what we hope to see at the end is a big man-made steel lookout on top of a big boulder called Castle Rock. Hopefully this one is not as challenging as B Bluff No. I'm already out of breath yeah, and we just say, started. Are you dying? No, it's, <laughs> it's uphill from the car park to where we are now. It's been uphill this whole time and I think we'll be uphill to we get there. So let's see how we go. <laughs> and we are off. I'm excited for this one. When you get to the end of the walk you have to choose a path now to go so you either take the 65 meter scramble to the granite skywalk or an easy walk to carry lookout which i think we're gonna do is an easy walk first let's do this one first i think so and then we go to the skywalk yeah because like this looks like a scramble all right you gotta <laughs> literally climb up the side of the rocks here okay carry lookout here we come we just stopped here at carry lookout have a quick little snack but you can see behind me the man-made structure that goes or wraps around the rocks. It's pretty cool. We're excited to climb up the rocks and check that one out. Virginia was just flying the drone, but we saw there's a guy doing. Um, it's crazy. What's it called? Rappel? Uh, yeah, or abseiling. Abseiling? Let's see if I can get it on camera. Skywalk is done. Tick. Pew. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was so good. I love that platform. Yeah. That view. I don't Come know. On. I don't know if I should be saying this on camera, but with heights, I don't know what it is. Like I, I look down and I see something. In, it feels something in my stomach and a little bit in my bum hole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can say that on camera now. People don't need to know. I'm ready to go to bed. Yes. We're up at 2:30 a.m. Ah. That's ridiculous. But tomorrow it's gonna be 30 something degrees, I think. So we're going to the beach. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the beach. I'm ready to chill on some sand, relax. Yeah. yeah. 